Hello and welcome to The Shift, where I, Dr. Slagle, answer questions that I commonly hear in my office, and I explain common health misconceptions held by the majority of people. Each episode, I cover one specific thought, question, or concept that patients commonly ask me about, or that I hear repeatedly misrepresented in pop culture. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Some people think that certain conditions are passed down in a family like migraines or back pain. Like some people say that they, uh, they're everybody in their family has a bad back or, um, a bad back runs in my family or migraines run in my family, things like that. Well, I'm here to tell you that migraines and back pain are not passed down. They're not hereditary. They're not in any genes. I'm going to explain to you where they actually come from. So to explain this, first you have to understand the difference between genotype and phenotype in the human body. Genotype is the genetic code. So you can think DNA, the information that's passed down. Phenotype is the physical expression of the genotype. So think of like genotype would be like ADC. That's like the code. And then phenotype would be the big nose itself. Okay, so another way to think of it, if you want to, if you want an analogy, genotype is like the script that an actor reads off of, the information, the script, the screenwriting. The phenotype is the actual movie itself, the expression of that, the actual physical representation of that script that the actors were going off of. So genotype is the genes, phenotype is the physical traits in your body. There is no migraine gene, and there is no back pain gene. Genes are passed down, and that's, that's pretty obvious. The genes create certain phenotypes. So these phenotypes are similar in families, right? Because genes are passed down in the family, so these phenotypes are similar. So things... Examples of phenotypes that are similar within family structures are like skin color, eye color, height, hair type, foot size, how hairy you are or are not. Things like that are phenotype. That's the physical expression of these genes that are passed down. So one other thing in your phenotype has to do with your spine. When we look at your spine, just like if we look at like somebody's ears, Ears can be different sizes, different shapes, different angles, all kinds of stuff. Well, your spine is similar to that. So when we look at the phenotype in your spine, then we're looking at the shape of the bones in your spine, the size of the discs in your spine, the attachment points of muscles and ligaments in your spine, things like that. And there's going to be some variation between people, but certain families are going to have certain similar characteristics. So certain genes are passed down and a certain phenotype will actually arise. So just like eye color can be inherited, certain spine characteristics can be inherited as well. This means that there can be certain strengths and weaknesses in the structure of somebody's spine and those strengths and weaknesses can be inherited and can be similar in different families. But the weaknesses don't cause problems unless they get damaged by some kind of an accident or an injury. Now, these weaknesses are more susceptible to accident or injury. So if there is a weaker point in the spines in one particular family and it never gets damaged, then no problems are going to develop. But just like if you have a a weak link in a chain, it doesn't matter that there's a weak link in a chain unless the load on the chain exceeds the amount that that weak link can handle. Then that weak link will break and then it does matter. It's similar in your spine. If the weak spot in your low back, for example, gets damaged through an accident or an injury, then you end up with low back pain. Or if the weak spot in your upper neck gets damaged through accidents or or an injury, then you can end up with migraines. So if a whole family, like parents, kids, all have similar weak points in their spine, and then multiple of them have accidents or injuries, 
then the whole family will share similar conditions like a migraine or back pain. But the injuries are not genetic or inherited. The genotype and phenotype are. So the phenotype is what's inherited, but it still takes an accident or an injury to cause damage to that area of weakness. So what does this mean? This means that that area can be repaired or fixed or stabilized and people can get better. It's just like replacing the link on the chain that broke. So if there's a weak link in the chain, it doesn't matter unless the force on that weak link exceeds its limits. Then that link breaks. But you can go in and replace that link and then the chain is just fine again. To review, there's no gene for back pain or migraines. There are just weak points in the phenotype that's passed down that makes it more susceptible to injury. And if there is an injury, then it causes problems. But that injury can actually be fixed and you can heal and get better. So in our office, what we do is we examine your phenotype extremely excruciatingly in detail. So we look at you standing and laying down from the front, back, right and left sides. And then we also take x-rays so we can see the internal structures as well. So we take x-rays of the low back, mid back, head and neck, and that way we can measure exactly everything. We know exactly if your hips are off center. We know exactly the shape of all the bones in your spine. We measure them all so that we can see exactly what's going on with your phenotype. And we can look at where the injuries have been and we can calculate how to fix it. And once we fix where those injuries have happened, your body can heal up. Now, you're still going to have the same phenotype, but it'll be a healed phenotype, so you can actually get better. That is it for today. Thank you for listening. Please share this with someone who would be interested, and we'll catch you later on the next episode of The Shift. With me, Dr. Slagle at Structural Spinal Care in beautiful Pembroke Pines, Florida. Mention this episode, and you will get 20% off your new patient exam fee. Now go do something awesome.